Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how I designed this creative flyer in Adobe Photoshop. In this video, we are going to make use of the double exposure effect in Photoshop to design this flyer. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is to open Adobe Photoshop and then head over to File and then click on New and then change your documents name to Pretty fire. You can always choose a different view. Change the rate space, and then the height should be at 9. Then keep the unit in inches, and the resolution as 300, and then click on create. Good. And the next thing I'm going to do is to create a solid background for the flyer. So head over to um, this guy here, click on this guy, then click on solid color, and then change the color to S3. D073. This is the color code. And then click Ctrl K. Now that we have our background in place, the next thing I'm going to do is to import our image. Alright, now head over to your folder. And I'm going to link all of this in the description of this video. So drag and drop this image. Click on this guy. And then you stretch it out like this. Good. Now rasterize the image. And then come to the select option here and then click on subjects. Good, now add a layer mask. So click on this guy to add a layer mask. Alright, and then let's adjust this. Like this. And I'm going to grab my eraser tool. So grab your eraser tool. And then get rid of the edge like this. Don't want it showy. Show carefully with the lower parts and make sure that you select the soft round brush to raise good i'm going to put it here like this okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to create a new layer and then drag it down like this come to the foreground and change the foreground color to white and then grab your brush to and then select the soft round and then you paint the middle like this good i make sure that the smoothness of the brush is 10 and then the flow is 52 or 50 and then paint like this awesome now that we are done with this the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in our image so let's drag and drop this and then what we are going to do with this image is that we are going to use this image to create the double exposure for those of you who don't know what double exposure is double exposure in photoshop simply means that you are blending two three or more images together to create a harmony and also to create an art so we are going to blend this image this background image here then the picture of this guy here to create our exposure so make sure you keep the image on top of the um the guy right like this and then you rasterize the image you just imported and then right click on it and click on create color pen mask right and then next i'm going to do is to adjust the image you just imported good i'm going to keep it right here like this click on this guy and then grab your eraser to again then you can get rid of this part like this because you don't want it showing so you carefully erase this part gently good this is perfect for me now you can either leave it this way or change the blend mode to screen All right you can change the blend mode to screen or leave it this way but then we are going to change the blend mode to screen just like you did so you select the picture and then you click on it the blending option and then you select screen and the next thing i'm going to do is to add our first text which i'm going to link it's also in the description of this video so copy the first text select the never right click 
and then click on copy come to photoshop grab your text tool draw a text box and then you click on ctrl plus v on your keyboard to paste right then i'm going to adjust the text like this Let me keep it right here. Awesome. Let's go back to our test. Now let's select the second test. Then you copy. Come to Photoshop. Select your text tool. Draw a text box. And press on Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you decrease the size and do your adjustments. Good. This is okay for me. Now let's increase the image a little bit. And then position it right here. Okay. So I think we should change the blending option for the image with clip mask to normal, right? So that it will show well. Okay. Then let's add our next text again, which is the last one. We copy. Click on copy. Now what we are going to do is to select this text. Press on Control plus J on your keyboard and drag it here. And you double click and then it's press on control plus V like this. And then I'm going to adjust this like this. Good. Now the next thing we are going to do is to bring in our the rest of our images, which is this image right here. So I'm going to drag it. And then put it right here like this now I adjust it and then keep it on top and then we are going to add our final image but then before we do that I want to remind you that the ultimate graphic design resource pack is still available if you are one of those graphic designers that finds it so difficult and so frustrating to always search for design resources on, on the internet and i've got you covered this design resource pack is going to help you it's going to save you a lot of time and then it comes with over 3000 design resources which include background images 4k models fonts light effects and a whole lot and so i'm going to leave the link in the description of this video and i also pin the link in the comment section so you can check it out now the next thing we are going to do is to bring in our cloud image so head over to your folder and then drag and drop this image like this right then i'm going to adjust it carefree Let's bring down our image a little bit. Good. Right. Now we are done with our flyer. You can always go ahead and then color grade your image and then color grade the background image that we clip mask and then used to create a double exposure. And so what I'm going to do is so I'm going to color grade the image with clip mask. So select the image and then go to image tab, click on adjustments, click on hue and saturation, and then change the Hue to plus 14 and then change the saturation to plus 60 and then change the lightness to plus 18 then click on ok and then adjust it very well to suit your own liking good so here we can go ahead and then group everything so select the layers here starting from the background you press on shift key on the keyboard and then select the very top layer you drag it to the 
folder icon here to create a group and then we have our flyer looking so amazing this photographer is very very simple but very creative all right so you can go ahead and then save your projects and then use it for whatever you want to use until i come here with another video tutorial peace